JS8000. It was like 240 bucks. before you use it but uh, I just got a new tool here so I'm excited and I'm gonna see how it works I decided to go with a uh, fiber cement and you can cut this a few different ways you could cut it with your skill saw with the fiber cement blade that's gonna make a whole lot of dust this is made out of concrete sand and cellulose which I guess is a fancy word for sawdust I went online to amazon.com and found this Makita cement shear. Here, this will cut through this like butter. It says in the review, so so we'll find out. So I've never installed fiber cement. I've never used this tool before. Okay, let's plug it up like Back to the Future and see what she does. My, looks like my three-year-old eating cereal. Let's mark one of these fiber cement panels and then see how she cuts. Let's see how she cuts. It does cut like butter. Definitely is a lot less dust. This stuff is like feels like cardboard, but I think it was worth every penny. Well, now that I'm done with the west side of this house, let's give you a final overview of the Makita Fiber Cement Shear JS8000. Um, this is the first time I've ever used a fiber cement shear. It's actually the first time I've ever even installed fiber cement. This thing really does cut like butter. Some of the features that I thought were that were nice was it has, it has a lock button here. So you can actually lock the trigger and cut if you have a long cut to make. The second thing is it has this hook if you need to temporarily hang it. The third thing that I really like is that it has a variable speed trigger. What that means is you know you can go full speed or you can you can slow it down as you're cutting. That really makes it handy when you're getting to the end of the piece of the fiber cement. You don't really want to blow through that thing at full speed. You got to kind of slow down and try to get the end of that cut nice and straight. Because otherwise what happens is when you're cutting the fiber cement at the end, it'll tend to kind of break off on the last little, you know, eighth inch or three sixteenths of an inch. And then you'll have to go back with your, your blade and just kind of trim that off. Not a big deal. Um, the other thing is it seems to have plenty of power. You know, with that variable speed, the electric motor on this is pretty good. And I really gotta say, you know, they say these things cut like butter and they really do. It really makes it simple to cut through the fiber cement. I can't imagine doing this job without this tool. It was definitely worth the money, worth the investment. Oh, one other thing I like is that it has this little, little circle on here. Say you gotta cut out a 90 degree angle. This, this circle tells you where to stop. When you're cutting, if you line that up with your, your 90 degree line, then your cut will be correct. So it's kind of like a, like a guide. A couple of things I didn't like about this is that when you're cutting with the shear and it's kicking out the waist, the waist kind of curls up and it really makes it difficult to see the bottom blade, which is the cutting blade. So you can either just go by your, go by your sight 
where you kind of have to clean the waste out as you go and then the other thing is again when you get to the end of your cut a lot of times it it's not a clean cut at the very end you know if you were using a, a fiber cement blade and you're ripping through that it's probably going to be a clean cut all the way to the end but on this one the piece kind of tears away one way one direction or the other and then you got to trim it up so that that got to be a little bit annoying but again you know i do highly recommend the tool um, i am not a paid sponsor i spent my own money i, I did order this off of amazon because the big box stores didn't seem to have them in stock you know i ordered this off amazon prime and i had this at my office within 48 hours so. and i was able to cut all this fiber cement with this makita js 8000 so again i do recommend it i don't have any other fiber cement shears to compare it to because this is the first time i've used it but i do have other makita tools that, and they tend to last a long time so I spent a little more for this one than some of the other options but I've used the Makita angle grinder for over a decade and it's still going strong so I figured you know I'll pay a little bit extra plus this one was in stock and I really didn't want to wait a week or, or longer to get the tool you know I, I had the job scheduled we got good weather I wanted to get it done and Amazon Prime had it, they had it in stock and they got it to me quickly. Them. I'm gonna put a link down below in case you're interested in ordering the same tool. I do recommend it. It wasn't difficult to use, it had plenty of power. It cut nice and straight, uh, it cut clean, and it cut easily. So I hope this review is helpful to you um, and give us a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next video. To all my fellow DIYers and investors trying to get started, trying to do all the work yourself or doing what you can. Remember, there was a time where I didn't know how to do anything on a house. Didn't have any tools, didn't have any knowledge. But if you've got the time and the will, then you can do it too. Just remember, I'm not a professional. Please try this at home.